What's more Christmassy than a fictionalised account of the many, many crimes of Henry Lee Lucas? That's right, it's Henry, portrait of a serial killer. I love you, Henry. I guess I love you too. How romantic! Henry, portrait of a serial killer, follows Michael Rooker, starring as Henry, a mostly apathetic serial killer who murders for fun, randomly targeting people and dispatching them in whatever way is most convenient. The film follows Henry as he becomes friends with Otis, who is a prison acquaintance, and Becky, Otis's sister, and the film's love interest for Henry. And Otis. Yes, this one isn't PG-13 either. Did you really kill your mama? I guess I did. How'd it happen? I stabbed her. Otis said you hit her with a baseball bat. Otis in there? Yeah. Well, he's mistaken. Henry and Otis go on a killing spree, and it's all very graphic and nasty. What makes this movie different to just another psycho killer slasher is its attention to tone and the fantastic performance given by Rooker, who creates a nuanced character when other actors might have left Henry firmly in two dimensions. Henry, the man, is a murderer, but he's also got a complicated past, and there's a complex psychology in the way he's written and performed. He's particularly frightening because as soon as the surface is scratched, it's obvious how peculiar and dangerous he is, but superficially, he appears normal. It's terrifying because he's invisible. There's a moment where Otis and Henry confront each other, and you realise one of them was always going to off the other, and they have always lived in danger of the other. Filmed in 16mm, it's gritty and unpleasant, and I struggle to think of another film where anything seems so unsafe. Henry could kill anyone for any reason, but then his murderous associate could kill him. It really develops a rather stressful feeling of dread. Michael Rooker's first film, he was still working as a janitor when he landed Henry, and he reportedly remained in character for much of the month-long shoot. As debut performances go, I can't think of many that come close to this one. Now I realise that this has been a very saccharine outing, so tomorrow we'll be looking at what many call the most sadistic or graphic film ever made.